Hey folks, so while we were working remotely out of Las Vegas for a week, we thought why not spice things up, so we decided to take a weekend trip to Hurricane Utah for some off-roading fun on their awesome trails. And guess what, one of the cool off-roading YouTubers lives right there, so we decided to drop by and say hello. We decided to visit the famous celebrity Matt, but looks like he's closed right now. But we can still see this artifacts over here. And the doggies. No dogs allowed. I remember seeing you on YouTube. Our first stop was on one of the most popular trails around, leading us to Tuckerville Falls. It's known for its stunning waterfalls along Laverkin Creek, starting in Tuckerville, north of St. George. And uh, the trail is mostly doable, but watch out for some bumpy spots. It's not all smooth sailing there. We figured our SUV can probably handle the ride, but boy, were we wrong. It was way more challenging than we anticipated. So after about half a mile into this trail, we decided to turn around and go back to not get ourselves into bigger troubles. On this way. We good? Yes. Well done. <laughs> we made it. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. You didn't hit your wheels, but you got real close. Yeah, I know. You look on your tires, you're like so close to touching your wheels. <laughs> <laughs> All right, have fun, guys. So we headed back to Hurricane, which is about 15 minute drive, and got our hands on a purpose-built Jeep for those rugged roads. All right, our Mercedes wasn't exactly capable for that road so we decided to upgrade and uh, get something more appropriate for the trail are you posing oh yeah this is so much better you can't control your seats but that's <laughs> that's, that's expected <laughs> As soon as we hit the trail again, the contrast in driving was clear as day. The Jeep effortlessly powered through terrain, inching us closer and closer to our destination. This road just seems too easy. You have to go that way. Let, let's go. Let's check the map. I think we might have to go that way. This is where we decided to take a little detour to visit a weather station on top of a hill that has some fantastic views. After driving for about 10 minutes or so, the road became extremely rough and the incline started to get steeper and steeper. Scary looking. I have to turn off the high and turn on low. Okay, now low. <laughs> you shut up right now. We don't give up on something like this. 
It is at this point the road was so steep that all four wheels were slipping sometimes. We'll get to the point where we can get to and then if it becomes extremely difficult, we'll just park and walk the rest. He said, uh, use your best judgment. So that's my judgment. And I think we'll, we'll make it. Okay, so even Jeep can go up more than this. So we have to walk the rest of the way on foot and uh, it doesn't look easy. We're slowly making it to the top. This is where our Jeep is, right there. Wow, this looks amazing. slip and fall here because this descent I don't know if it looks that way but it's near <laughs> vertical because of steep slope and the risk of rollover there wasn't any space to really turn around I had to reverse all the way back instead when we visited, this place was just a safe spot on my map. But while editing this video, it hit me how I stumbled upon it initially. It was from this video labeled literally, don't use this trail, we could have died. Fortunately, we made it through all right and uh, pushed it to our main goal, the waterfalls now. Dockerville Falls is not just one singular waterfall, but a series of cascades, making it more like a collection of falls rather than a single one. Each tier offers its unique view and a swimming spot, adding to the charm and adventure of the area. Low water levels at Dockerville Falls not only ensure safer passage for vehicles, but also makes it a pretty fun driving experience. Upon reaching the falls, we were supposed to turn back and retrace our path. However, we didn't realize it at the time and just kept going forward, which made our return journey a bit tougher than expected. Despite that, we still had an absolute blast. Dockerville Falls has been a popular local spot for decades. Local adventurers have been visiting this falls for generations, making it a cherished part of the area's history and recreation. Surrounding area is known for its stunning red rock formations, adding a unique and picturesque backdrop to the cascading waters.
when we made it back from the trail, we still had a plenty of time to go and check out the sand dunes that were nearby, but before, we tried to catch Matt again. This is our second time trying to visit Matt's off-road recovery, but unfortunately, looks like they're closed on Sunday, even though it says we'll return at 1. They must never return on Sundays. We hopped back on the road aiming for the sand dunes. Just a quick 15 minute drive from Hurricane. Sand dunes are sitting right by the scenic Sand Hollow Reservoir and there are tons of marked trails in that area that will get you to some very interesting spots. But unfortunately we only had a couple of hours left so going too far was very risky for us and we didn't want to get stuck too bad. Driving through the sand dunes was pretty tricky and felt a bit nerve-wracking. It seemed like the soft spots could easily trap us and we didn't get any gear with us to get unstuck, not even a shovel. So we kept going for about a mile into the park until we hit a point where the jeep just couldn't handle some areas and that's when we decided to turn back. Maybe if we've had more time we could have found another way but today wasn't the day for it. We'll definitely come back to explore later on. Until then stay curious and keep exploring guys. See you later.